KSP2 runs on my computer. But Jay, this looks like Satisfactory, not KSP2. Are you doing a switcheroo on it? <laughs> KSP2 runs on my computer. And I'm ridiculously pleased about that. Stop trying to bring me down. It doesn't run great. Okay. Um, I only get like between 10 or 15 frames per second um, on Kerbin or in Kerbin orbit. But for 45 minutes, I was so ridiculously happy that I'm sure my neighbors thought that I was having a seizure or something. As I was screaming and laughing and doing all the things that I normally do while I'm uh, recording. Because this is the real me. I am actually this insane. Now, it is probably the least optimized game I have ever seen in my entire life. Satisfactory is a pretty graphically intense game. They spent a lot of time making everything look really good. Little individual bits of grass and leaves blowing around and sometimes you can see little bumblebees and crabs walking all over the place and there's a lot going on. KSP2 doesn't have that much going on. Like when you're in orbit you can't exactly see individual bits of uh, individual uh, blades of grass. I don't know why it's taxing my GPU up to 100%. Like in the background right now Satisfactory is running while we're staring at the, the map thing. And my GPU usage is like hovering at around 20%. I'm using all of my memory. I'm not telling you how much memory my card has because I don't want to be judged. Um, but seriously, it, it, it needs massive operation um, optimization. I don't think it should have been released in its current state. I think they should have spent serious amount of time optimizing the graphic. It uses less CPU power than KSP1, which makes me think it's not doing as many physics calculations. Jay, why are you still talking about KSP? Just play fucking Satisfactory. Nobody wants to hear your stories, but just wait a minute, okay? Just listen. Listen to my story. Listen. They should have spent more time optimizing it. It has about as many features as version 0.52 of KSP, except there's more planets. 0 0.52, I think, just had the mu the Mun, but it didn't have Minmus, and it didn't have the rest of the planets, and I don't think you could reach the Sun, because I think the Sun was actually, uh, Kerbal was actually part of the Skybox at that point. I, I can't remember, but it runs. And I launched a pre-made craft, I got into orbit, and then I landed, and it was a little bit slow, and um, I was able to do it on medium graphic settings with uh, the highest render distance because that's all I care about. I, if, if Satisfactory was just a bare colored contoured floor with no grass and no trees or anything, I would be fine with that. I don't really care about all that detail. All I really care about is I can see stuff from really far away. That's, that's the one thing that I care about in games is render distance. What are all those little white dots on the screen? I'm going to get to that. Just wait a minute. Okay. So it was really fun and the Kerbals look really nice and all of the, the machines are modeling and everything, but all it is is a graphics upgrade. It's KSP1 with a graphics upgrade. I like the position of things and it's just, okay, fine, fine, fine. We'll play satisfactory. You want to ruin my happiness? You want to, you want to, you want to sit on one of those on, on, on an outhouse that's six feet in the air and poop on me? Fine. Okay, this is from the, um, the ruler mod. Okay, so these don't actually exist, but I think you can actually stand on them. See, they're part of the ruler. And that's so I could get um, a bearing, a line, from this... Uh, 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 KSP2 is... Act okay, fine, just... Okay, whatever. Okay, so this, um, this, uh, this flood channel here goes into the flood valley and uh, I wanted to get a bearing and I wanted to put a platform right there. There is a platform right there. The platform is really high up in the air and um, this is because I've changed my mind. Originally what we were going to do is we were going to have like a barge over here that we we're going to do the majority of our um, factory type stuff in there uh, and uh, I've changed my mind. What I'm going to do is I'm going to have a spaceship. Yes, I know. 
I KSP just released. I've got space on the mine. I am the space core from um, Portal 1. Okay, we're just going to have to get over that. That every five seconds in my brain, I am screaming space. We're, we're just going to have to acknowledge it and move on. So this is going to be a spaceship. And it's I, I'm probably going to be like the full size here. I'm probably going to have most of the uh, refining and building and construction stuff happening in this area. Uh, we, I'm probably st still going to have a train, but I'm going to be using a lot of belts. Now, to help us along with this, I've installed a few mods. Now, you see a few grayed out mods here, like the uh, refined power and microwave power. I kind of want to play with microwave power, but we're going to play the game straight first. So we're not going to do um, very much in the way of um, like modded buildings and things like that until we get very, very far down the uh, uh, the tier list. We might even complete the tier list before I turn any of this stuff on. So refined power is really cool. Um, I think that it could use um, a lot of changes to it to make it even more realistic. But in in what it is now, it's still it's still pretty goddamn cool. Refined power. We'll look at. We'll definitely look at that at some point. Microwave power um, is transmit power, but it's realistic. So you're it's it's you're actually using an EM laser, an electromagnetic laser, which is what a laser is, but I mean, it's more in the microwave band, so there's less diffusion. Um, and I think this mod also models power loss over distance, so that's like the inverse square rule, okay? But for a minute there, is, I was about to say in, inverse cube rule, but that only works if you're transmitting and receiving. So. It's inverse square in one direction. So if I was going to send, if okay, if NASA is sending uh, a signal to Voyager, inverse square goes, uh, yeah, inverse square goes in one direction. So, so from from Earth to Voyager, it it spreads out, it diffuses, and the power rating drops. Then when it hits, well, this is not okay. So <sighs> that's not really how it works because. You know, Voyager is transmitting back. Well, okay, let's use another example. Say we shot a laser at the moon, and it's hitting one of those reflectors. They have the inverse square to the reflector, then the reflector bounces it back. So if you want to predict what your laser's power rating will be after it reflects back to you, use the inverse cube rule. So it's, you know, twice as much as the... Anyways, let's keep going. Nobody cares. Um, more beams, just because it has some pretty beams in there. It has, uh, like, this glowing stuff, and I was thinking that I was going to use it for, like, tractor beams and stuff to, to make it look like the ship is keeping itself in space. We're also going to have the space tether up there. And I have the, the elevator sitting on top of the spaceship, so it looks like the spaceship is actually tethered to a geosynchronous um, station. So it would look kind of cool. Anyway, fixing networks, I wanted to look at it. But you have to actually build the PC and stuff, so I'm not sure if I'm going to use that. I was going to try to use that to, like, turn machines on and off, but we may not look at that at all. Uh, conveyor wall holes. I'm not sure I'm going to use it all, just because I think that um, Coffee Stain has put a lot of new conveyor options in. Stackable power poles is a must. All it is is one of those uh, ladder segments that you put the... The um, conveyors and the uh, uh, the pipe segments and the hyper tube on top of, except it's it's a power pole. It's a it's a it's a connector for the power, so you can string the power inside those ladder segment thingies. Absolute must. Um, more uh, wall conveyor supports. I think the fix it shop actually has uh, these in it now, um, but we're gonna wait until we get to that point. Um, just fly is just like so if there's something that I need to do in between, I can do, but I actually haven't turned it on. <laughs> Smoke and fire, that's for if we put engines on it, because there's no decor. I couldn't find any decorations where they have hover things, so there is like blue flame and like glowy things that I'll put underneath the spaceship to make it look like it's actually making an effort to stay up there. I would have liked it if somebody made a mod that just made decorations that were lights but made it look like they were engines or 
anti-grav emitters and things that used electricity so that, you know, if you wanted to make a, uh, uh, a city in the sky or something like that, you could actually, um, you know, make it so you're using electricity, so you're using power, and you'd have to generate more power and things like that. There's another mod that isn't on here that I was thinking, and that was like the colonization mod. And we might do that way at the end, uh, but I also have to put, you know, farming, the farming mod in there, because you have to feed the colony. And it's just like a bunch of domed city things that might be neat at the end to decorate stuff in. But first, what we're going to do is just unlock the map. So let's get back to the map. Okay, this is what I mean that we used to be able to... St that you could stand on these. Um, could you... Oh, you know what? Here, come here. Come here. Come on. Shut up! There. See, that's what I mean that you can stand on these things. Now that we've gotten quiet, uh, that I was uh, that's what I was saying that you can that you can stand on these things. Uh, they're they're physical objects, but they're just they're really not. Let's get up here like that. That's sort of cheaty, but you can't do anything with it. It's not useful. But uh, I put this here so that I could put that platform. That's going to be the bottom of the spaceship. Um, and the reason that that's going to be the bottom is because I'm going to put a radio tower, one of the observation towers, upside down. And put there upside down, it'll just about reach the the, uh, the ground, but it'll be like, like 10 meters above it or something like that. Um, and we're going to put all kinds of decorations on it. Like, we're going to use, we're going to use the, the, the hell out of the micromanager and just change everything about it. And it's and hopefully it's going to be cool and it's not going to look stupid, but uh, it's probably going to look stupid because you know there, there's a reason why I don't play Minecraft because you can't get anything to look nice. Everything is all blocky. Oh, and the and the the tether the uh, the elevator is going to be up there. Now I'm not sure I'm going to put that up there right now because that would mean I'd have to climb up there to put the um, project assembly stuff in there. Uh, so we might not do that. Let's go back over here. That's pretty much all I did between uh, episodes. It's just put that block up there. Um, I don't think I did very much else. I might have sorted some things and other stuff, but um, not much has happened. And our machines have continued to busily work away. Um, we have quite a few screws now. Well, that's the other thing that I that I installed. I installed a load balancer. Um, so it's like these things, but you can stack them side by side. They don't unlock until tier 4, I think. But we'll still be using the hell out of those. And they're going to be cool. So we're very close to a point where we're going to outstrip our, our storage. It took me a long time to think of the word storage. Um, to my knowledge, I haven't had a seizure. But... What we are going to do is we are going to cheat a little. We're not really going to cheat. Um, what we are going to do is we are going to go to the crash sites and we're going to pick up all of the stuff from the crash sites because you can get a lot of good things from the crash sites. And I think what I will need from the crash sites is two bio... Oh. We don't have wire. That's a good thing that I, that I was going to build it. So uh, we will need electricity to open up the crash sites, and we will need uh, power lines, and we're going to need, like, uh, material. We actually don't need that much material, because to open up the crash sites, you can actually find almost everything you need for the crash sites at the crash sites. Now, there's one crash site, or several crash sites, that you can't open up because they need, like, the, the super collider and the... Uh, the spaghetti and stuff like that, which you could normally get from the um, the Xmas or Fixmas thing, whatever the hell that's called. Hi, Flea. Jay said you have a a really big plushie now. 
I might buy you as a body pillow. Okay. So, let's build one, two, three burners. That's all that we really need. And we'll need one, two, let's say three power poles. And we will string the power poles like... I am going to build a... Hmm, what do I need to build? I'm going to build a... a MAM. An equipment bench. And a crafting bench. There we go. Let's bring two sets of screws with us. Okay, let's bring two plate with us. And two rod with us. We'll bring three cables with us. And two these things. We won't bring any meat with us because we don't need them. We'll leave the caterium behind. And we'll leave the nuts behind. And that's what we're going to take with us. Now we can disassemble. Now, do I want to go this way first or do I want to go that way? Let's go this way. Now, I was having problems with my videos um, a while ago. And that's because my first recording of videos, my first pass, when I make a video, I record in lossless. Now, that didn't really matter for the most part for other uh, games because they're not as detailed as Satisfactory. Satisfactory is super, super detailed. So I was ending up with... Um, let's kill this guy. Ooh, two guys. Yeah, let's kill them both. No, they'll respawn. Let's not. So I was ending up with, like, uh, several hundred gigabyte-sized files. And editing them was kind of problematic because, um, you know, when you when you search for things in an editor, it's got a low key files and things like that, so it uh, it was pretty taxing, and I'd have to recode them. But I never used very much of my uh, of my CPU or GPU power. Okay, does this have spitty guys? I kind of remember this having spitty guys. I hear things. Okay, what do you need? You need quick wire. I don't have quick wire. But we'll pick up whatever we do have around here. There you go, circuit boards. Okay, where's the next closest one? I'm, I'm not exactly sure. I think it's up over here, but it's pretty high up. So let's go. Let's go. I think there's one in these, this forest over here. Or one up top of there. Or there might be one up top of there. I think. I can't remember. Keyboard's ignoring my inputs again. I don't see a ship. I thought there was a ship up here. Picking up multiple fixed personnel in the area. Proceed with harvest before it's too late. You are very creepy. Let's get away from the creepy woman. Haha, <laughs> I knew there was one over here. Now this one. Uh oh. Oh, Jesus, he keep Will you go near the water? Whatever. Okay, where is the other one? Well, there he is. He was hiding up. Oh, I thought he was stuck. Well. Oh, uh, I got some um, frame. Okay, so let's. I'm I'm positive that this is uh one that you open up with um, electricity, so let's put down 
a bio burner. I don't know how much electricity it needs, so let's swim out there and find out. Oh, steel beam and electricity. I don't have steel beam. So, let's just continue on looking for stuff. Hmm, no walk animation. dum de dum de dum uh, Most of that health loss was from jumping off of that. But here's the another uh, hard drive location. We haven't opened any of them up yet. That's that's not cool. Okay, here we are. And what do you have on you? You need. Oh, look! I have frame. See, I picked up the frame at the other site, and now I can use the frame to open the door. Can we get a hard drive out. And will Ada say something? Data on the hard drive has been salvaged and can be repurposed to unlock an alternate recipe. Salvaging more hard drives will provide additional alternate recipes. Okay, now the reason that we brought a copy of the MAM with us is now that we can put down the MAM... Boop, boop, boop. And then we can go in the MAM, and then we can go hard drive, Scan hard drive, scan hard drive, and that'll take about 10 minutes. And we can get rid of this ma'am, and the other ma'am that's over in our base should continue uh, to do the research. Now let's pick up some of this stuff. We can't pick it all up. There's something I don't need. Not really. Uh, that sucks. That's going to be like sitting out there in the world and it's going to bother me. I think that's one of the bumblebee things. They've changed the texture. That's pretty cool. I think jumping down here is not a good idea because I think this is the abyss. Yeah, that's the abyss. We're not going to go down there. So what we're going to do is we're going to go back to the other side of the base uh, because there are two crash sites that are very close that I think need just basic materials like um, cable and things like that. So I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to pause again and come back when we're there. I died to one of those guys. The big guys. Um, I have to go get my stuff back. But let's just make sure that the MAM is processing. Um, like we know we, we it should, but let's just check anyways. Yep, see, six minutes left. Okay, let's go back and get my stuff. Now we're going to pause collecting hard drives, because I can see that we are pretty close to um, full on a lot of these uh, things. So let's make a assembler. Oh, what do we need for assembler? Oh, we're missing a rotor. Oh yeah, we haven't built ro a rotor plant yet. Okay, you know what, let's let's just keep going with our hard drives for now. Because... Um, that's just easier at this point, and it's a little funner. Now there is a hard drive around here, but there is also a slug right there. Well, let's go grab that slug, because um, we're collecting collectibles too at the same time. Now there might be a spitty face right there, and there is. Ah, shit. We're going to get him to spit. No, 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 no. Oh, it's too greedy. There. Cool. Okay, so... Where is this guy? And we need... 40 megawatts of power. Did we need bring enough megawatts? Power. How much does this... Uh, it doesn't say how much it produces. It probably does and I didn't read. 30 megawatts, so we need two. There we go. And now we'll connect them up. Cool. And uh, reinforced plate. Not much around here. Do I have a light? No, I don't have a light. Oh, we got some motors. What else did we get around? Reinforced plate. 
Anything else? Mm, I don't think so. Okay, so let's split this into two. And we'll put one in here. One in here. Powered on. Ah. Grab the hard drive. And then we will get rid of our power. Ooh, lights come up. I can see we've missed a few things. Is that quick wire? Nah. Of course it's not quick wire. And more motors. Cool. Now let's quickly build the MAM and see if we finished that other hard drive. And we have. So, definitely the screw recipe. Oh, definitely, 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 definitely the screw recipe. And another hard drive. Okay, so now we're finished this, and we're pretty hopped up here. Um, do I want to go back and dump some of the stuff off? I might, because this is a lot of crap. And we're, like, really close to the base, so let's just... Let's just kill this guy. And I got gotcha you really quickly. Much more quickly than I usually be able to get people. Oh, I hear snoring. There it is. I was super lucky with those two, although he did hit me, so... Hi, Fee! Data shows this is a mix of sulfide and sulfate minerals. It could be an indication of recent volcanic activity. A new research tree exploring volatile self-defense applications can now be accessed in the MAM. Translation? Explosives. Doing this all from memory is kind of hard. Like... Is uh, I can't remember if there's a thing on top of there, or if it's just a bunch of uh, algae bacon, because I know one of these peaks has a bunch of algae bacon, and I don't know if it's this one, or if it's this one, or if neither of them... Okay, <sighs> there's a hard drive in that valley. I know there's a hard drive in that valley, so let's go to the... Ooh, is there a hard drive in here? No. Uh... Oh, yeah, it's way over there that I'm thinking of. There's a little small lake way over there, and that has a hard drive in it. Okay, we're up here, and I don't see a hard drive. That sucks. So let's make a platform so we can get over here, and we will pick the berries. But we're high enough up. <gasps> no, no, don't fall. No. Don't fall! Oh, why am I floating? Oh, there we go. Oh, 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 that made my guts go up and down. Oh, oh, but look what's up here. A purple guy. Um. Oh, there's a node down there. I think it's a Caterium node. Uh. Now, I know for a fact that there's a hard drive in here somewhere. Oh, there it is, right there. Uh, is there... Oh, yeah, there's one right there, right there, or right there, and one of these, um... things, these, these spore trees. And there's the land that, that we can't get to. <gasps> no, 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 oh, oh. Okay, so I got a... Notification that the MAM has finished its research. Now, we don't have a hard drive on us, but there's a few things that we can research. Oh, which one do we need? Um, wow, well, this one's not that great. What's this? Bolted plate. 
I've forgotten what the normal recipe is. Isn't the normal recipe just, um, plate and... Okay, what's the... Oh god, I don't know which one's better. This, this I don't need, because there's plenty of copper in the universe. Oh man, I'm going to look at the recipes. Okay, so normal reinforced um, iron plate takes a 6, six by 12. And it'll produce 1. So this is 18 by 50, and it'll produce 3. So I think that probably produces more items per minute. And it does so the 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 normal recipe takes uh, will do 180 uh, items per minute uh but this will only do 60 items per minute according to the wikipedia so i don't know why this exists does this just exist to make people like angry i don't know let's just pick the wire we're we're eventually going to unlock anything everything anyway so let's just you know do it this way do we have Caterium on us? We don't have Caterium on us, but we do have Caterium uh, back at the base. But we have Sulfur. So Sulfur. And Sulfur. You gonna tell me something, Ada? No? Okay. Oh. New resource added to the resource scanner. That it? Okay, thank you. Let's go over there next. Or oh, where is it? Yeah, over there. And I think there's another one in behind in these purple trees. I seem to remember there being a sulfur node there and maybe be a uh, another hard drive over there too. Again, this is all by memory. And my memory is not the bestest thing in the world. Is there one over here? Or one on the ledge somewhere over here? I don't remember. But I know for a fact that's there because I can see it. So let's go a dad way. So I'm trapped up here, but I found some raw quartz. This mineral shows purity levels akin to synthetic quartz manufactured on Earth and can be used to improve communication and exploration technologies. A new research tree can now be accessed in the MAM. Okay, let's kill these fuckers. Okay, now I can research quartz. Uh, we'll put the worm down. The worm. And um, quartz. Cool. And we'll continue on exploring. Why am I obsessed with this area? I'm positive there's a there's a a crash here. I I'm almost certain that there's supposed to be a crash somewhere around here. Or maybe I'm just not thinking about it properly. Like, right here or somewhere? I don't know. What are these things? They look kind of cool. Oh, there's a doggo. And the bulby things are the um, bees, or whatever the hell they're called. Oh! There we go. We got another one. So let's make a ma'am right away. Let's see if we can quietly... Oh, crap. God, I hate these things. Come on. Come at me, bro. Oh my god. Are they going to keep coming out or something? They are. I didn't think they kept coming out. I thought they, they stopped. When did they change that? I'm going to die. 
there anything on the ground that I want? Um, Caterium wire would be nice, but I don't see any. I just see spools of wire. Uh, maybe I should have waited until I got the... Anything over here? No. Anything over here? What's that? And the rest is just wire. So let's run away. Now I do believe we've run, we've shut down due to lack of fuel here. And I can see that that is the case. Yeah, we've run out of fuel on everything right away, but we're not going to refuel right now um, because I really don't care. We're going to put all of our organic stuff away. We don't need the copper or the quartz. Wait a minute, there was something we did need. There was something... Is this done yet? No, but... Caterium, that's it. And Caterium is... I have Caterium. I'm, I'm positive I have Caterium. There's Caterium. So we'll put the Caterium ore over there for now. We'll offload our sluggy slugs. We'll keep our motors and... So, the next place I'm going to go is down over here. There is a, a coal node somewhere over here. And near the coal node, um, on a little island, or a big island, or whatever, there is a crash site, I think. And a Caterium node. And prior to the liquids update, to the pipe update, this was also where I was getting my coal from. Okay, let's build a foundation over here. There. Why are you sideways? No idea. No! Here. Whatever. Okay, now, I'm pretty sure it's over here somewhere. And these guys are going to beat the crap out of me. Whoop! Bye! You yater! Now... Okay, now... I'm pretty sure it's somewhere over here. There it is! I've got screws. Who cares about screws? What do you need? Oh, one more! Oh! Where'd it go? Where'd it go? Where'd it go? Ha ha ha! Okay. Um... I can't open this one, so... <laughs> I thought you were the dead guy! Oh, he's a tusky guy. Come on, tusky guy. Come on, tusky guy. <laughs> no! That, um... <laughs> that was funny. <laughs> okay, so we've opened up another MAM. Let's see what it is. Ah, here we go. So we've got an alternative... Rotor. Anything with screws in it is terrible. What's this? Copper ore. This I don't like. And this I don't like. Wait, wait a minute. Didn't I see you before? Uh. So I can use copper sheets and screws. This might be a better recipe. Because the real recipe is rod and screws. And this is copper sheets and screws. And it's 11 it's 11 a minute. 
But I have to deal with screws. I hate dealing with screws. Okay, let's pick this one. Let's pick this one. Yeah, let's pick that one. Now, I don't have any more hard drives. So, that's it for the hard drives for now. Um, do I have any of the organ meat that I need? What are these? Oh, I can do this one. Oh, plus six locks. Ah, let's do this one. Two, four, six, eight. I am 100. Ooh, 10. <laughs> I got more space. How about you? Okay, there we go. So we got that done. And we can't get these done now. Pocket but we can get the dimension has been inflated. Thank you. Uh, we can get the caterium done. There. Now we do have bacon. I would love mushrooms that taste like bacon. Do you know how many people would become vegetarian if you had mushrooms that tasted like bacon? Jump pads we're not doing. We need to unlock the next tier of stuff. But first, what we're going to do is we're going to uh, completely redo our screw line after we decide what we're going to do. Let's put down a constructor. And we can't put down an assembler. So, the things we're not making in our constructor yet are copper sheets, and that's it. It's just the copper sheets. We can't make the rotor in here? Really? There. An assembler. Now, what do we need in the assembler? We need modular frames, and we need smart plating. Whoops. We didn't want to select that, we just wanted to look at it. So in the smart plate, uh, the smart plating, we're going to need a um, reinforced uh, plating and the rotors. Now, we do have some alternative recipes that are going to help us out quite a lot with that. Let's use the standard recipe for rotors because we have a ton of screws and rod. So we can put the... What's who is this? That's screws, and you are sheets. Okay, so we can we can sneak the guy over here. Uh, we'll aim one side of the assembler here, like a so, like so. There we go. And we'll just put normal things up for now. Is that straight? It is not straight. And I can feel my blood pressure rising. There. So. And then we need to grab some of this guy. And we're going to go like, yeah, let's just run it. Like that. Doesn't really matter. Then we'll choose our recipe for... What are we going to do again? Rotors? Rotors. Okay. Perfect. And then... We are going to stick... A... Storage guy... On the end of this... That's going to be straight, or I'm going to kill myself. Not really, but... You better be straight, or I'm going to be so unhappy. Okay, you're straight. Good. Not not, not that, like, being not straight is a, a bad thing or anything. It's just... Um, I'm not going to make that joke. <laughs> I was going to make a joke. I'm not going to make that joke because that joke would have been in severe bad taste. So, now we have our rotors. Uh, what else do we need? We need modular frames, probably. What does this need? This needs reinforced iron thingy blobbers. So, we can do that as well. Uh, but unfortunately, we are going to look like a mess. 
I think we're going to keep our current um, screw production facility up and running because it's already up and running. Why are we going to take it down? Here we go. And let's make sure this is straight before I die. Okay, game is not trying to murder me. And we'll click that up. That's straight, not really, but it's straight enough that I'm not going to um, panic over it. Now, I also don't like things clipping, but right now I don't care. Let's 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 just get this up and running and working. Let's now sort out our power issues. We'll put the sheets in here too. So that we can say that we've emptied out our inventory. Then we probably gotta go grab the run it undone and make more fuel because um, we don't have enough fuel. Now, I'm pretty sure that the next tier opens up uh, the copper, the um, the coal uh, plant. We don't have to screw with, we don't have to bother with uh, with organic fuel anymore. So. What I'm going to do is I'm going to grab fuel and then we'll decide what we're going to do from there. And probably what... Oh, the moon is shattered. When did the moon become shattered? I didn't know the moon was shattered. It's also... You see that? There's like a beacon right there. For a moment there, I thought it might be Morse code, but I guess it's not. Okay, so I'm going to do this. Um, see you later. There, finished off all of the uh, fuel. Let's just put all this stuff away. Put this away, this way, put this way, but uh, that's about it. So now I'm going to make an awesome sink. Ooh, I need a wire. I don't think I have any wire. I don't. I have to go to the copper mine for the wire. So now I can make the awesome sink. Make it face this way. And I'm going to give it a storage container. Which I need plate for. There. And you get uh, quite a bit of points for the, um, the DNA stuff. So let's go grab the DNA stuff, wherever the hell that is. Paint also gives you uh, some points. So let's put the paint in first. And so we'll get more points quicker for them. And we'll hook them that up. And I have a feeling we're going to need more um, power stations. We're not overclocking these power stations because we don't want to use more stuff than we need. So let's see. We are probably way... Oh, we are very close. Okay, let's switch it on. It's probably going to... Going to yeah. Uh, yeah. Okay, so that's that's better. See, we can turn off some of our manufacturing when we want to use the awesome sink. So that we don't need to, like, constantly power a bunch of stuff. So let's make power plant. Let's make bio power plant. Yeah, we're still outstripping it a bit if everybody was, um... If everybody was manufacturing at the same time, but... That's not happening right now. So... Let's make our own separate bio burner plant back here. For the awesome sink. This may not be enough power for it, but let's try. Oh, it's exactly enough power. Interesting. 
and we'll dump in as much of that stuff as we can and look at it go up. Okay, let's take a look at the machines uh, to make sure everybody is, you know, producing properly. Now, is this backed up? Yeah, pretty good, but I don't think it's going to it's going to um, keep its screw load here. Yeah, so let's upgrade screws to Mark two. Mark two. Mark two. And that should keep production on those plants up. This one seems to still be falling behind a bit. Or maybe not. It's 100 screws per minute, and I think the Mark II um, conveyors go at 120 per minute. I can't exactly remember, so let's look. 120, yep, that's good. Okay, back to the, the awesome sink. And we've cleared all of our painting stuff, so let's cram all the DNA in there. And we have 12 coupons. And let's print those coupons. Cool. And buy some stuff. What are we going to buy? Uh, we don't need any of those. Eventually we'll need the lights and stuff. We definitely want that. Floor hole. We want all that stuff. We're gonna... Let's see. What is this? Oh, it's a window. We're gonna need this. Definitely. Unavailable. Why? Oh, need basic steel. Nope, we can buy all of that. Da -da -da! Ada's not going to tell us anything? No. I think we'll keep everything at where it, everything else where it's at. And we'll store away our one ticket. There we go. And our shards. We don't need the shards right, right now. And we have no place to keep our fuel, so I'm just going to make a little fuel bin out here. So our fuel bin is now put away. And everything's all copacetic. This off? Let's just put this off for now. Ooh, there's... Standard points and DNA points. Ooh, cool. And I don't think there's anything we can research. No. And we are producing some reinforced plate here. That's good. And some rotors. What's the other thing we can produce here? Uh, modular frames. Uh, we don't need the modular frames right just yet. How many have we produced so far? Dick. We collected most of those. So, uh, we need to expand that um, considerably. But first, we'll end the video. Because this is a natural split between what I'm about to do and what I have already accomplished. The next video will probably not focus on manufacturing at all, but the design of the first part of the spaceship and the uh, supply bus going up to it. Also, spoiler alert, I move the space elevator several times, probably like six or seven. And I go through several design iterations for the main bus. I might gloss over those iterations. I might add them in fully. I haven't decided yet. But hopefully, I've been slightly more entertaining than standing at a stove with a fork in your hand, waiting for your pot of noodles to boil so you can have your foe and slightly less boring than standing at a stop listening to music while waiting for a bus or train to come by. 
And if I've met those two criteria, let's do it again in a couple days. Don't judge me, I'm trying different things.